Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Yoga with Edwin. Let us begin by coming to a comfortable seated position. Sitting either cross-legged, extended legged, whatever feels good to you. Listen to your body. And in the beginning, let us just close our eyes and settle in. Begin to focus on your breath. Breathing in a little deeper, exhaling a little longer. Not straining to breathe in nor forcing to breathe out. And as you're breathing your breath, come into this moment. Let go of your earlier on. It's gone. It ain't coming back. Let go of your later on. It hasn't arrived. If we're in either one of those places, they, we miss right here. So settle in. And let's begin by just scanning the body. See if you can elongate your spine by sitting up tall, lengthening from the crown of your head. Draw your chin in just a touch so you feel that extension in the back of the neck. Maybe roll your shoulders back and down so that your heart lifts up and you engage your core. And then just for a moment, we just sit. Nothing to do but this. As we prepare for our practice, always listening to our bodies, finding that middle ground, that place between ease and effort, and letting our breath be our guide. So let's breathe together, in through the nose, out through the mouth. A long breath in, and a long, prolonged sigh out. <sighs> again, breathe it in, and then let it go again. One more time. Take in as much air as you can and then hold this breath and feel that breath sink down deep into the body. And then open the mouth and let it out. And then blink your eyes open. Put your hands behind your back and stick your legs out. And then just shake your legs up and down. Waking up everything from your hips to your heels. And then waking up your lymph nodes by rolling your feet around in a circle, letting your knees rise high as your toes come to your nose. Everything is working from the hips to the heels. And then pause for the cause and go around in the opposite direction. Just waking stuff up, letting them know we're coming. Shake your legs up and down. Now let's work the muscles from our hips to the heels. And as you extend your feet forward, curl your toes under and then draw your feet back and curl your toes back. And then follow your flow. Just go back and forth, listening to your body. Feel the body awakening. Perfect. Now draw your toes back, splay them out wide, and squeeze your knees and your thighs so much that your heels rise up off the floor. And then relax it. Boom. Shake it up and down. Draw the soles of your feet together up into your pelvic girdle and hold on to the outer edges of your feet. As you breathe in, draw your knees down, lift your heart up, lengthen from the crown of your head. Feel that stretch in your shoulders, that extension in your neck. Take another long breath in, and when you breathe out, just relax. Let your toes come up, your heels stay down as your chin falls softly into your chest. As you breathe in, extend forward as you arch your body, rise up, breathing in through the nose. And as you breathe out through your mouth, just round and just go back. Chin bow softly into the chest. Again, breathe in, extend and rise. As you breathe out, round in your fold. And then breathe in, extend your legs out, bring your arms to your ears. Let your legs relax and you just flop over. Cup your calves right below the knees at the top of the calves and just relax here. The key is to let your neck relax, to let your head hang heavy. As you breathe in, feel that restriction on your breath. But breathe in deeply anyway. And then as you breathe out, feel that extra little bit of air releasing from the body. And now as you cup your calves, very gently, very mindfully, with a relaxed neck and heavy head, just bob up and down. 
releasing that low back, that middle back, that upper back, those shoulders. Perfect. Then let your hands come to your shins and slide them to your thighs. Draw your toes back, shoulders down, hearts up, lift and lengthen. And then just say, blah. Shake your legs up and down. Again, breathe in, lift and lengthen, toes back, hearts up. And then relax. Perfect. Breathe in, bring your arms to your ears. Soft shoulders, lift from your heart, not your neck, your shoulders. Then as you breathe out, let your hands slide to your knees. And then as you fold forward, slide your hands down your shins towards your ankles. No further than that. And then again, just relax. Because your arms have now extended a little bit further, we're opening the back body just a little bit more. So just relax here. Breathe here. And as you grip your legs right above your ankles, begin to just rock left to right. Let it be slow and mindful. Invite each sit bone to just gently rise and fall back on the floor. Let your neck be so relaxed that each ear drifts effortlessly to each of its shoulders. Feel the engagement of your low back left and right. Feel the engagement of each side of your torso. And feel that awakening in the neck. Awesome. And then come back to center as you do slide your hand up your shins and back to your thighs. Toes back, hearts up, shoulders down. Lift up and then relax. Draw your left knee to your chest and fold it out to the side. I know that uh, for about a week after everything was shut down, I didn't practice yoga at all, and I just started back, and I couldn't believe how tight I'd gotten in just a week's non of non-practice. So we'll be very gentle this morning. For those that had a class with me, this is coming from Portia Lynn, the oldest yoga teacher in the country. Anyway, so what I'm going to invite you to do is just cup your right knee and lift it up a touch. Hold on underneath that right knee. Take a deep breath in. Lift your heart up. Arch. As you breathe out, round. Lean back. Let those shoulders splay out as your chin draws in. Breathe in. Arch your body. As you rise up, breathing in through your nose. Breathe out through your mouth. Chin to your chest. Lean back. Round out. Let it all go. One more time. Breathe in. Bring it on up. And as you breathe out, round and come on down. <sighs> the breath is so important here. Breathe in, just bring it on up. Combining movement and your breath. As you hold on underneath your knee, take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, just bring your chest on down to that thigh. Let your neck relax. And then as you breathe in, don't lift up. Just let the body float to wherever it wants to go. Then as you breathe out, squeeze just a little more. And then relax, let it float up. Breathe out, just squeeze, let it flow. Mm. And then take another deep breath in. This time as you breathe out, squeeze underneath the knee and slide <coughs> that right leg all the way out. Continue to hold on underneath that knee. And as you breathe out this time, bring your nose on down to the knee. And as soon as you breathe in, just relax. Breathe out, bring it on down. And as soon as you breathe in, relax. Now just rise on up. As you rise on up, lift up that right knee. Note that the heel is on the floor, but my toes are back. Bring my arms to my ears, soft shoulders, a lifted heart. As I breathe out, I reach for my foot. The index fingers are on the toes, the rest of the fingers on the ball of your foot. Four movements here. Take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, first draw the foot back, then draw the toes back. Then as the elbows come down, the chin and the chest comes into the thigh. And then we relax, we release it. Breathing out, foot back, toes back, elbows down, chest into the thigh. And then relax. Last time, as you're breathing out, draw it all back, draw it all down. Hold your chest as close to that right thigh as you can, then just slide the right leg out. Let your neck relax, let your head hang heavy. Draw that right foot back, and then as you do, breathe out, bring your nose on down to the knee, and then just relax. Breathing out, bring the nose on down to the knee, and then relax. One more time, bring it down. Now, on this breath, as you breathe in, push your belly forward, lift your chest up, draw the chin in. Look at your foot, not straight ahead. You want to extend from the crown of your head, and then relax. 
One more time, belly goes forward, toes go back, heart lifts up, chin draws in, lengthen from the crown of your head. And then relax. Release your hands from your leg, bring your arms to your ears and just reach. Hinge at your hips and just rise up here. Soft shoulders, a lifted heart. Breathe out, hands to the floor, chin nestles softly into your chest. Cup your left knee, draw it back into center, stick your left leg out, shake your legs up and down. Draw your right knee in. Let your right knee fold out. Now, if this right knee is real high, you can put you a towel or a blanket or a pillow right underneath there to give you some support. And so then all we want to do here is this, is just put your hands underneath that left knee. As you breathe in, lift up the left knee. As you breathe out, lean back. Chin goes in as the air goes out. Breathe in, arch your body, round and rise. Breathe out, round and fold. Ugh. In through the nose as you breathe in and rise. And as you breathe out through your mouth, oh, round in your fold. And then breathe in, just rise on up. And as you rise on up, take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, bring your chest on down to the thigh. Squeeze it like you mean it. Oh, and then relax. Take a breath in. Breathe out, squeeze it like you mean it. And then relax. Third time to charm. Breathe out, bring it down. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. Now, continue to squeeze. Keep that chest drawn towards the thigh as you stick that left leg all the way out. As the leg goes out, the toes go back, the knee comes down. Hold on underneath that left knee as you breathe out, bring your nose to the knee. And then let it float up. Breathe out, bring your nose to the knee. Then float back up. One more time, breathe out, bring it down. Whoa, and then relax and rise. And once you've risen, lift up the leg. And then bring your arms to your ears. Soft shoulders, lift from your heart, engage your core. Breathe out, reach out out there and grab hold of the foot. Index fingers on the toes, rest of the fingers on the ball of your foot. Neck is relaxed, head is hanging heavy, scratch your nose if it itches. Take a deep breath in, as you breathe out, draw the ball of your foot back, then the toes come back, then the elbows come down as the chest goes into your thigh. And then we relax. Again, ball of the foot back, toes back, elbows down, chin is relaxed, head is hanging heavy. And then as you squeeze real tight, just slide that left leg all the way out. Perfect. And then we just relax here, soften here. The foot is drawn back. The knee is down, but if it's not, if the knee is up, so what? And if you can't hold on to your foot, hold on to an ankle or a calf, whatever you got, you listen to your body. Perfect. Now, wherever your hands are, it's a great place to be. As you breathe in, push your belly forward, lift your chest up, draw your chin in and look at that foot. And then relax. Again, one more time, push forward, rise up. Feel all those muscles from your hips to your heels. Feel how you're engaging your shoulders, your hands, your wrists, and then relax. Release your hands from your leg, bring your arms to your ears, extend, reach, and rise up here. Lift up and lengthen. Breathe out, hands to the floor, chin nestles softly into your chest. And as you lift your head up, cup that right knee, bring it back to center, stick your right leg out, shake your legs up and down. You know, if you've ever had a class with me, we've always talked about the seven movements of the spine. In some schools it's six, but I agree with the seven one. So we have such a short class today, I thought what we would do is we'd just focus up on, on those seven movements. So here's one of the seven. As you sit up tall, elongate your spine. This is Danasana. You've engaged your core, you've opened up at your vertebra, you've lengthened from the crown of your head, and then you just go, blah. Portia Lynn used to say that if you could just do this every day, that would strengthen your core, strengthen your spine. So here we go. Align the spine. Soft shoulders, lifted heart. As you breathe out, reach for something, whether it be your feet, your ankles, your calves, or underneath your knees, whatever you got is all good. And we just relax here. We just breathe here. Note the restriction of your breath. That's just your diaphragm being shoved up into those lungs. So, but if you breathe deeply here, you're really exercising the lungs. So here we go, coming out of the pose, your belly goes forward, the chest lifts up, the toes go back, the knees go down, lengthen from the crown of your head. Feel all the wonder of the body of this. And then we relax. Slide your hands up your shins and back to your thighs. 
Shoulders down, hearts up, lift and lengthen. And then we'll relax. Shake your legs up and down. Perfect. So we only have 30 minutes and we've already gone about halfway, so let us continue our journey with the spinal column. Lateral flexion of the spine. Bring your arms up high. Soft shoulders, lift from your heart, engage your core. Then open the palms and bring the hands down. You have reached out as far as you can. That middle finger is touching the floor. Breathe in, lift and lengthen, engage the core. As you breathe out, relax. Breathe in, reach and rise. And as you breathe out, relax. One more time, breathe in, reach and rise. Now pause here, bring that left arm, excuse me, the right arm right alongside your head. Then walk your left hand out until your left buttock, right buttock, cheek comes off the floor. As you breathe in, reach with the right arm. Press your left hand into the floor and draw your right buttock cheek back down. And then relax, let it float up. Again, reach with the arm, press with the hand, and draw that right buttock cheek down. And then relax. If it's for you, release your left forearm to the floor. As you breathe in, again, reach, feel that right buttock cheek rise, then press that left hand and push that right buttock cheek back down. Oh, and just hold it there for a breath or two and just feel all that opening. Breathe, perfect. Press your right hand into, or your left hand into the floor and rise up back up. <laughs> perfect. Left arm comes up, right hand walks out. Reach with your left arm. Feel your left buttock cheek rise up, then press your right hand and draw your left buttock cheek back down, and then relax. Again, breathe in, reach. Press the right hand, draw the left buttock cheek back down, and then relax. One more time, breathe in, reach. Press, draw the buttock cheek down, relax. Release the right forearm to the floor. Reach with your left arm. Press your right hand into the floor, draw your left buttock cheek back down and then relax. Again, as you breathe in, reach with the left arm, feel that opening on the left side of the torso, press your right hand into the floor, draw your left buttock cheek back down, and just pause and feel the wonder of that, and then relax. Oh. Press your right hand into the floor, rise on back up. Align the spine. Arms to your ears, soft shoulders, lift up your heart, let your legs flop out, and you just flop over. And again, you just bob here up and down, lining the spine, releasing the low back. The neck is relaxed, the head is having heavy. The weight of your head is helping to up, open, open up that whole back body. Awesome. And then hands to your shins, slide them to your thighs. One more movement of the spine. We've done extension of the spine, flexion and extension of the spine, lateral flexion of the spine, now it's rotation of the spine. Draw your left knee in. You can lift your left foot right here if you like. Or will be, you can make it a little bit more of a challenge as you bring your left foot across your right leg. Now we're gonna do this one very simple. My right hand is just gonna hold on to the outside of my left leg right below the knee and so my left hand comes behind the back. As I breathe in, I'm gonna draw my right foot back, straighten my left arm, lift and lengthen. Then as I breathe out, remember we start at the low back, then the middle back, then the upper back, then the shoulder, and then the last thing that comes around is your head. And this is an active pose here. So as you're breathing in, you lift and you lengthen. As you're breathing out, you are literally drawing your belly back into the spine as you use your right hand to draw your left knee to the right. Oh, it just gets in all kinds of wonderful things. Another breath in, breathe in, lift and lengthen. As you breathe out, go around just a hair more. Then breathe in, sit up tall. As you breathe out, bring your head forward first. The rest of the body follows. Uncross the left leg, left leg goes out, shake it up and down. Right knee comes in, stay here if you like. Right foot across the left thigh, stay here if you like. Well, you see the here there, so whatever. <laughs> so now take your left hand, bring it to the outside of your right leg, right below the knee, as your right hand comes behind your back. Draw the left foot back, straighten the right arm, sit up tall. As you breathe out, Begin that slow, mindful twist to your right. Low back, middle back, shoulder. Last thing that comes around is the head. And as you're breathing out, 
That's when you draw the belly into the spine as you invite the body to rotate around a little more, wringing the spine out as if it were a sponge. Listen to your body. Another breath in, lift and lengthen. As you breathe out, go around just a touch more. Perfect. All seven movements of the spine. Breathe in, sit up tall. As you breathe out, bring your head forward first. Rest of the body follows. Uncross the right leg, leg goes out. Arms to your ears, align the spine. Lift up and lengthen. As you breathe out, legs flop out and you just flop over. Take a deep breath in. A long, slow sigh out. <sighs> Perfect. Then slide your hands up your shins and back to your thighs. Shoulders down, hearts up. Aligning the spine, lengthening, elongating the spine, engaging your core, and then relax. Now, if you have a low back issue, just lay down. If you don't have a low back issue and you want to work your core a little bit more, all I'm going to invite you to do is this. Bring your arms above your thighs. Have your feet, if you're on a mat, have your feet at the front edge of your mat. Arms above your thighs, toes to your nose, sit up tall. And then point your toes, let your chin bow into the chest. And then slowly, one vertebra at a time, roll yourself all the way down to the floor. And when you get down there, bring your arms above your head, let them rest on the floor. And then breathe in, reach with your arms, and as you breathe out, relax. Breathe in, your knees into your chest. And as you squeeze your knees, rock left to right. And release your feet to the floor. If you have a low back issue, open your feet wide as your mat and let your knees collapse together. If you don't have a low back issue, just slide your legs all the way out. So, bring your left knee into your chest and give it a squeeze. Flex and extend that left foot. Take a deep breath in as you breathe out. Bring your nose to that left knee and squeeze it some more as you press your low back into the floor. And then put your head back down. Stick that left leg up high into the sky. And then just draw that leg in. If it bends, so what? And then bring the sole of that left foot on the top of the right thigh. Your right hand, about broke my bush, goes to the outside of that left thigh as your left arm goes out like a wing. And then all you want to do here is this. Just take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, just draw that left knee to the right. If it's there for you, see if you can keep your left shoulder on the floor as you look over your left shoulder. And then in the beginning, you just let the weight of that right hand draw that left knee down. So it draws down as you breathe out and you breathe in and let it float back up. Breathing out, it draws down. Breathing in, it floats back up. Awesome. Perfect. And then just let it rest there for a minute. And just feel that openness, that deliciousness in that left hip, left side of the torso, left IT band, all that is working up. If you have a sciatic issue, this is a great stretch for that. Perfect. Now breathe in, bring that left knee back to center. Give it a squeeze. As you breathe out, bring your nose to that left knee. Press your low back into the floor, and then release your left foot back to the mat. Slide your left leg out. As it goes out, the right knee comes in. When the right knee comes in, holding on right underneath the right knee, right at the top of the shin, take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, squeeze. And then on the next breath out, bring your nose to the knee. And as you breathe in, you put your head back on the floor. Stick that right leg up high into the sky. Hold on right below the knee. And then just draw that straight or bent right leg towards your head. And then bend the leg and put the sole of your foot on the top of your left thigh. Take your left hand, bring it to the outside of your right thigh, right above the knee. And on a breath out, bring that left knee to the right or excuse me, the right knee to the left. <laughs> and as you're breathing out, you're drawing it down a little bit. And as you're breathing in, you're letting it float back up. As you're breathing it out, you're engaging those muscles, maybe going a little bit deeper. And as you breathe in, let it float back up. One more time, breathe out and draw it down. And then just pause right there. 
relax. Focus on your right shoulder for just a minute. And if it's way up off the floor, see if you can draw it down just a little bit. Soften your belly. The softer you make your belly, the more that hip will open. Take a long breath in, a big breath out. And then as you breathe in, come back to center. As you come back to center, grab a hold of that right leg right below the knee. As you breathe out, squeeze the knee, nose to the knee. And then put your head back on the floor, sole your foot back to the mat, slide your right leg all the way out. Now bring both knees back to your chest. And as both knees come back into your chest, just simply rock left to right. Go slow, be mindful. Perfect. And then holding on to each knee individually, either stir your pot by rolling your knees around in a circle, or roll your boat. The knees go down, then out, back up towards your chest, and then back and around, do it again. then go the opposite way. Both, both the opposite way. Knees go out, then down, then back in, and then back up to your chest. This counter stretches the low back. And if you're stirring your pot, stir it the other way. And then come back to center. Take a deep breath in as you breathe out. Bring your nose to your knees, your knees to your nose. Squeeze it tight. And then release your feet to the floor. If you have a low back issue, let your feet go as wide as your mat and let your knees collapse together. Or if there is no low back issue, just slide your legs all the way out. As your legs slide all the way out, let your legs flop out. Let your arms drift away from the body. Palms facing up, fingers curling effortlessly. And let's hear, just take a deep breath in through your nose and a long, slow sigh out your mouth. Breathing it in. And then just saying, ah. Oh. One more time, breathe it in. And then just saying, ah. Oh. This time, as you breathe in, make tight fists, hold the breath, and tense up your whole body. Take a deep breath in. Hold the breath, tense up, squeeze. And then release. And this time, just take a deep breath in. Don't tense up the body, just hold the breath. And then open the mouth and let it out. And this time, don't hold the breath or tense up the body. Just take a long breath in. Breathe in through your nose all the way down to your toes. And with a prolonged sigh out your mouth, feel your body just melting into the floor. Taking a moment to just be in this moment. And no matter how difficult our times become, it's always good to find something to be grateful for. You know, in a hurricane season, we could be without power, no hot water, no internet, nothing. And although this is, we're at war with something that's invisible, we do have hot water. We do have cold water. Our electricity is working. Our internet is working. We have the ability to talk to our friends, our families, and our neighbors. And we must also give thanks for all those people on the front line in our hospitals, those people that are now testing for us. Every day before you begin your day, see if you can find something that you can be grateful for. So let's all take a deep breath in through the nose, soft sigh out your mouth, just for a moment, be here. Nothing to do but this.
always find some time for you every day, even if it's just for a moment, to just be still and watch your breath. Perfect. Let's begin to awaken by first swallowing. Then begin to deepen your breath, not straining nor forcing. And then as you're deepening your breath, bring your awareness to your body and begin to stretch your body in whatever way might feel good to you. And then when you're ready, either roll to your right or left, come into a fetal position. Pause in there just for a second. And then using your hands and your forearms, get yourself back up to a comfortable seated situation. Situation, no. A seated, God. Oh, whatever it is. And you just sit up tall, close your eyes just for a moment. Let the benefits from our class sink all the way down into that cellular level. I want to thank you for joining me today. It's been a pleasure to be with you. And let us close our class like Adrian. Bring our hands together into our heart center. Then bring into your thumbs, to your forehead, into a form of namaste where we're in touch with our third eye, where energetically they say that we're all connected here. And as you breathe in, just lift up your heart. And as you breathe out, let your chin softly nestle into your chest as we close our class by just saying namaste.